You got to keep fishing. You got to keep grinding. That's the only way it's going to work. You got to keep fishing and you got to keep grinding. That's the only way it's going to work. Period. Fishing champs, I'm out here again. Get out here now. Freaking awesome. Gotta love it over here. Fish in a nice area. Get your passes, get your permits, get everything you need. Get your freshwater license, get your marine license. But uh, get out here. It's been great, man. It's been a great season down here. I haven't been here. I've been doing most of my fishing at night in other states as you've uh, watched my videos. But anyway, I uh, hope everything's good, everybody. Uh, get out here, start fishing. Now they're in the rivers, back bays. You can hit them. You can get them. Uh, the elusive striper. I'll never stop my love for fishing. It's an incredible feeling, incredible experience. Every time I go out, every single time I go out, it's an experience. You guys got to get out here now, man. It's so exciting. So what? You don't catch anything. At least you went out and you said, hey, man, I grind it. But you keep doing that, eventually you're gonna score. It's a, it's a mathematical, you know, the odds. You're gonna get a fish. You know, the, you, you see those guys with big fish on consistent basis. Those guys fish hard, man. You see them on the pictures, all those guys are fishing. It's what I do, it's what I love to do. Straight bass fishing. Using a number five hook, circle hook, obviously. Uh, that's the law right now in New York State, also in New Jersey and Connecticut. I don't know the laws in the other states, but I know in these three states, it is the circle hook that rules. I feel I should have changed, after last season, I feel I should have changed over to a circle hook a long time ago. Last year, I didn't have one fish swallow a hook. That just goes to show you. And I fished a lot last year, and I had no fish swallow the hook, which was quite amazing. But those hooks do work. That's why they tell you to use them. And you're not going to lose fish because of it. No, I don't care what anybody says. You don't lose. If anything, the hook is going to set itself. Just pull it back a little bit and it's going to set itself. Here in the Hudson River has always been magnificent. It's a great year this year. Uh, dads and moms, uh, boyfriends, girlfriends. Got nothing to do during the day. You can't go to the beach. It's not hot enough yet. Go fishing in the spring. Put on a little jacket, relax. Hopefully it'll be a sunny day. Sit back and relax and get ready for the striper. And if you get one, consider yourself lucky. It's a beautiful thing to catch these things. Always catch and release. I always believe in that. Catch and release. All right, guys, we're here. We're fishing, trying to get a fish.
There we go, buddy. Nice little stripey there for you guys. Hudson River. Yeah, boys. <laughs> Fishing champs, welcome back, baby. Yeah, boy. Was another good day today. Fishing the Hudson. Always a good time fishing the Hudson. Today, we got them on the blood worm, at least in my area where I'm at. That's what we use. For those of you guys that want to know what was my rig, basically a high-low rig and uh, using a three-ounce storm sinker on that. Uh, the blood worms, always odds, bait and tackle. Good size worms, nice worms. Uh, also, I'm using a number five circle hook. That's a number five circle hook on that. Obviously, you guys know already if you're going to be bait fishing out there, any kind of bait fishing, uh, you've got to use the circle hooks. Other than that, fishing chips was another good day. Lots of people fishing down there today. Uh, well, let me put it to you this way. The area I was fishing, I got to sit in my car while it was pouring out there. So I'm not going to tell you guys I was out there. The only time I was running out was when I was getting bites. I missed a few bites like that. That's the tough part. But I do get to sit in my car in a comfortable surrounding. But it was all good. So I got the fish. Uh, that fish did not give me a fight. All the way in, it didn't fight me. It almost felt like I had a catfish. I was feeling a little bit of head shake. And that was it, though. So the guys were asking. I was like, yeah, it's small. But as soon as it was about... 10 feet from the shore, ba-boom, it started pumping. I was like, wow, that thrust tail went right into effect, man. Thrust on those things. But anyhow, it was a good uh, good day fishing. Couple of fish today. Uh, biggest one, you saw it. It was about anywhere between 30 to 28 inches, and the poundage was a definite over uh, 10 pounds, that's for sure. It was a nice little fat little baby mama. And uh, other than that, Sunday night, this Sunday night, this Sunday night, this Sunday night at 7 p.m. live, coming from the studios of Mr. Poseidon and his lovely wife, Mrs. P. Yeah, boy, it's great being married. <sighs> so let's go, baby, let's go, go! Mr. Poseidon. You know, I'm sitting here right now. I'm saying, all right, I got a chance at a 50. Every single time you're staring at that rock. Could it be that big fish right now?